Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 4th of 2022. Well, it is titled planets over Egyptian pyramid. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we see one of the oldest pyramids that is known dating back to the 27th century BC. So extremely old, and you can certainly see how worn it is over the centuries, how worn down it has become. Up above it in the sky, we see a line of planets. And in fact, four planets there that are visible in the morning sky right now. We see off to the left hand side, we see Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. A little bit above and to the right of that, we do see the planet Venus, which is the brightest object in the sky other than the sun and moon. And then further up, we see Mars and Saturn. Now we note that the planets are all lined up in a line. So that is because the solar system is flat. And when in the past you may have drawn a solar system on a piece of paper, that's really not that bad of an approximation as to how flat the solar system is. And that's way when you're looking at it from one planet, all the other planets will seem to follow the same path in the sky. Now there will be some slight variations because yes, each planet's orbit is slightly tilted relative to the others. So if you tried to draw a straight line through these four, you would find that you were unable to do so. And that some some of them would be slightly above or below. And you're seeing that slight tilt of each planet's orbit. However, they do follow this path, which we call the ecliptic. Now the eclip ecliptic is also the path that the sun and moon would follow. So the sun, moon and planets all go through the same set of constellations over time. And that means they will pass through those same constellations. And we call those the constellations of the zodiac with which you may be familiar. And those are where we will find the planets. So it is very rare to find on any of these objects outside of those set of constellations right along the ecliptic that we call the zodiac. There are a few times, depending on the tilt, that one might actually reach into another constellation, uh, barely, that is nearby. But for the most part, you will find these, these planets and others along that range. Now we continue as these continue to orbit their the positions is changing or changing. And in fact, Jupiter and Venus already shifted places last at the end of last month where they shifted and now Jupiter is higher up than Venus and it is approaching Mars. So as Jupiter gets higher and higher and towards the end of this month, Jupiter and Mars will be very close together. So it Jupiter is the continuing as each planet follows its own orbit and we see their positions in the sky from our perspective here on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for May 4th of 2022. It was titled Planets Over Egyptian Pyramid. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.